What's up, my, my shining stars? Hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. You know that light, that one, that purpose, that destiny, the one that you came down here to shine for the masses to see? Don't let anybody take you off your crown. Don't let anybody dim your light. It's precious. It's who you are, right? My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and ties. It was rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love, the, the, the love, the support, the emojis. you just been landing on thinking I just... Um, I'm receiving that love and I'm turning around and giving it back to you. Love you very much. For my new subscribers, welcome to the family. And I am so very, very honored. For those of you that's doing energy exchange, donations, tips, whatever you want to call it. Just know that what you sow into this channel, you shall reap 10, 20, 100 fold. Honey, it's coming back to you, right? So... On the flip side, sorry to say, for those of you that's hating, sitting, trying to manipulate, uh, man manipulate the energy, trying to cause confusion, trying to cause all kind of uh, foolishness and negativity and envious and jealous and evil eye and all these hoodoo voodoo black magic, all of those things, just know that I. I am one with source, okay? I'm not going to compete with you. You're not one up in me. Whatever you do or you don't do, it has, you have no effect. You, you, what you're doing is, you're wasting your time. You're pouring all your energy, your money, your resources and trying to attack me and my family, my trying to uh, uh, affect me. At, but for what, at, at what price and for what, when I'm still going to stand, I'm still going to rise, I'm still going to elevate, I'm still going to shine, I'm going to stand here, I'm going to be here, I'm still here. Ain't going nowhere. So why even attempt tiring yourself out, exhausting yourself, making yourself sick? For what reason? At the end of the day, you ain't going to stop no show. One way or another, I'm going to put it out, put out content, and don't really, not concerned about how many views and how many subscribers. I'm not even concerned about that. I feel sorry for you, for you tampering with the chosen one. You're, you're, tampering, you're tampering with what the content that the divine is putting out. Shame on you, because all of that energy is coming right back to you. 100 and i can guarantee you that right okay because saturn is taking names and ain't taking no prisoners right so with all of that being said it is so so be it a shay all right so we are honoring the sign of libra Boom! There it is, Libra. All right. So, uh, Libra, we're doing a love reading, okay? We're doing a love energy check, okay? I haven't did a love energy check in a while, but we're going to do one today. And the reason why I hadn't been really doing a love energy is because it's the same old, old, outdated stuff, energy that's refusing to allow the, uh, allow me to get the messages from from uh your new person the person that's coming in for you that nasty energy is trying to cloud not just my readings the the terror community that old uh person that you and let go years ago months ago weeks ago moved on they can't let go that same old energy so why keep tapping into that right so but we're gonna tap into it 
we're going to get some type of understanding about it. And I'm going to um, try to tap in to someone new, your new person. Ugh, why did that cut off? Hold on a second, y'all. I don't know why. Um, okay. So, let's get into it. Your overall energy is the muse, joyful muse. And it says inspiration. Okay. Then you have, because I had to get another card, illusion. And look at this card. Okay. So, I'm going to read. It says illusion embrace the truth okay that's your vice card so with these but with these two cards here love we're talking about love from a love standpoint standpoint we got um somebody is very very inspired so let me let me this person that's inspired is your new love somebody that you inspire someone that looks up to you think that you're very beautiful think this is the energy off this card think that you're very beautiful now you do this other person your old person is here your um um and what can, what do i want to call them your past person your past lover your past person is in this reading however i told you i'm going to um pick up both so this person is your new person this person is your past person your past person is living in an illusion of you what you guys can have they thinking that they can come back they thinking that you um they're trying to find a scheme a scam what to, what to say what to do to get you to come back um they're in their head and living in a fantasy world this person could have a mental illness this person could be um so uh, uh, illusion, uh so delusional that um they're living in a fantasy believing false um false claims and when i say false claims false claims claiming of you what you uh, in their head they believe in that you uh want them that you desire them that you're the one that is longing after them but you don't you're you don't um you too embarrassed you too embarrassed to come forward to them you too embarrassed because of some things that happened in the past you too embarrassed to come and um talk to them and be with them but you really want to be with them you're really hurting and you're really going through some type of um problem and issue um but you know you really want them and it's an illusion because you have totally uh totally cut this person off you totally have moved on you're not interested in this person but this person in their mindset they can't wrap their head around that you have moved on and that you would you want to move on that they can't their pride and their ego won't allow them to uh, accept that now this new love okay um you're you, you are such an inspiration you are in some shape, form, or fashion. They have, um, you inspire them or you're going to inspire them. Because I'm speaking from a standpoint. Some of you are already, have already met this person. It's in the beginning, it's in the beginning stages. Um, don't nobody know about it. It's a secret. Um, and that's fine. Just to let you know if you're in that situation, that this person really, really likes you really really you really inspired them you guys have had long talks you both have a lot of um similarities yet you both are different um and you can respect each other's differences is you um 
um, you are picking up that it will be an a equal, a equal give and take because this particular person really understands who you are and where you're coming from. Is you guys have some type of similarities and where the the similar when you, where you don't where you are not similar, you guys really really um, can respect that from each other. It's not some it's not a deal breaker. It's some things that you really can accept and really can, um, you know, grow. You still can grow. It's something that you guys both can grow. But this person here is very creative you are creative both of you have ideas you've spoken like i said extensively uh, for those of you ha that have met but those of you that have not met let me let you know this person is going to give you equal give and take they going um when you meet this person they're going to lay it all on the line they're going to lay it all they're going to tell you who they are they're going to be open with you. They're going to be honest with you. They're going to be very creative. This could be a musician. This could be an artist. But if that's not the case, they um, are going to be very, very creative in whatever they do. Um, they're going to have a very big, um, very, they're going to be very ambitious. They're going to be a goal getter. They're not going to sit around and uh, uh, you know, watch TV, flip on the TV all the time. All of that's nice and, and, and everything, but this person has got, got goals. This person got goals. They got things they need to do, people they need to see. They net, got to network with, with people. They got things that, um, and ideas. And this is a 33, a number 33. So look up sp that spiritual number, spirit, spirit, uh, that angel number 33. For some of you, that's a message. Um, uh, but I know that 33 is about the ascended master. So you have someone who is going to be very, very, um, powerful. Um, they're going to have the heavens back in them. This is going to be a spiritual connection, someone that's spiritual, and they're going to, um, be able to see you in ways that you don't even see yourself and bring out the best in you and vice versa. Okay. Okay. So. We have separation. All right. So you have separated, just separated from someone, separated from somebody. Um, and it was a very, very toxic relationship. It was a very difficult, difficult relationship to move forward, to move out of. Um, but this person here is having a hard time understanding that this is over. They are really, really in a delusional state of mind when it comes to you and fit you where it, where it go in, okay? Because this very well could be you, Libra, that's in a delusional state, okay? Fit it in where it get in, okay? Don't get in the comments talking about this not you, this not that, this not that. Fit it in where it get in, where it resonates, okay? Okay. This is a general reading. Everything is not going to resonate, but I try to give you enough information and try to give you enough scenarios that even if it doesn't resonate now, it could possibly resonate later. So you'll have that uh, have that information in your mindset. Oh, well, Trinity said this, or Trinity said that, and Trinity said to do this, or Trinity told me about this. And you'll know at that moment what you need to do, Okay. Um, so you have, like I said, two people, they're very different. This person is in, is living in a fantasy, living in an illusion. They're back in the past. They stuck in the past. They can't get over the past. They can't get over, um, you, uh, moving on, you going on. They can't get, um, uh, they can't fathom that you with someone else. They want to put you in a box where you just for them, they want to drain and take from you and have you in this box. So when they uh, need something, need you, need energy, need a, 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 a they just want you to be an a, a, a a energy uh, a generator, a supplier, right? They want to place you in this box. They don't want to give you the love that you deserve. They don't want to give you uh, uh, and treat you the way you're supposed to be treated, but they want to place you in a box and control the energy that you give out. They want your energy. They want you to give your energy to anyone else. They want you tied up and looped up with them in a vicious cycle, but that's not the case here. That's not the case because if you're on this channel, 
You're going to move forward. You're going to let people, places, and things go. One way or another, I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again until you get it through your head that these people can't give you what you need. They can't give you what you deserve because they don't have... <laughs> They, they don't have they don't have the energy they don't have the resources they don't love themselves they don't have the they, they don't have the components of of self-love uh courage uh sacrifice they take the easy way out these people take the easy way out and go from person to person, person drain and taking people's energy instead of them dealing with their issues and dealing with the deficiencies that they have and have experienced in life and move forward, heal those things and move forward. They stop and they want you to be stuck. They want you to be in this box and, and be stuck so they can keep on sucking you dry. Sucking your success, sucking your abundance, sucking your love, sucking your uh uh your 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 life, sucking you dry so you can't live the life that the divine himself have ordained, appointed, and anointed to you to live. We all have choices, but if you say no and you don't give them the permission and you move forward, that's that. That's the end of this. This separation is permanent. It's permanent. It says sadness. This person is sad, missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you, yearning for your energy. It's not you that they want. It's not you because if they wanted you, they would have treated you right. People who have a, genu a genuine love for, for someone treat them treat that person right with dignity and respect and honor commitment people are committed to people that they love truly love and respect if that if if they don't have no love and and respect then it's all games i'm gonna do what i want to do behind closed doors i'm i just got you for this you here for this I need you for your energy, what you can supply me. But love you? No, I don't love you. I need you to supply. So I, it's about me. I, 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 I could be abundant. I can can take your energy and be abundant and, 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 and attention and everybody have all eyes. Cause see your energy can also, uh, uh, elevate somebody's beauty, make them look beautiful. Your energy can make them, can enhance their beauty as well. So all of those things, people are seeking you can't get over. You cut the energy supply off. So you cut the energy supply off, it's messing with their mental state because your energy was supplying them, was having them in a elevated state. Now, without your energy, they right back down where they where they supposed to be because they ain't done no work. They ain't done any work. All right? So that's embarrassing them that they're in the state that they're in because you separated from them. I wonder if you're happy without me. Yes. If you're on here and you you are this person cuz both people watch my videos, the projected and the protected. If you're projecting and you're in a delusional state. This person has moved on from you. And yes, they're happy. They are very happy without you. Understand that. This is not, I'm not saying this to hurt you. I'm saying this so you can know the truth and come out of this delusional state. This person is happy. This person has moved on. They have no intentions on coming back. They have no intentions on being with you. You have had your time with them. 
you have had your energy uh, exchange with them and now they have took their power and their energy back and they have new love that is with this 33 that the heavens is backing a true love someone that is deserving of them as someone that is going that they are going to give as well equal give and take which you were not able to give them so own it release it deal with it own it deal with it and release it so you too can have this too everybody has that opportunity but you can't have new love you can't have this type of love if you're not willing to release your past and let go you have to let that mess go you can't keep projecting and keep pouring and keep uh projecting and and sending and, and focusing on one individual You can't and expect to have love in your life, true love, commitment, marriage. You can't. It won't happen for you that way. You have to release this person. You have to release them. Let them go. Let them live their life. Let them be at peace. When you let them be at peace, you can be at peace. But as long as you keep fixating on this person, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck, stagnant, broke, bu busted, and disgusted, mentally ill, mentally unstable. Because this is not your person. You are disillusioned. You're not seeing things clearly. So, the last thing here is, I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up if you let me. I promise you that I am going to be better. Promise that to yourself. Promise this to yourself. Promise, make the promise that you're going to be better. Make it up to yourself because this person has someone else new that's coming in and you will not be able to stop this. So if you think you're getting ready to do black magic, if you think you're getting ready to change the dynamics, you're not. The heavens is backing this. It's heaven, heaven approved this that this is going to come in. What you need to understand that you keep messing with this person, you're going to mess your whole life up where no love is going to come in for you. You're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted all the days of your life on this in this time frame messing around with this person so it will behoove you it will be in your best interest is it gonna hurt yes is it gonna be work yes but you only got to do it one time go through the process let this person go in peace go through the process and you too can have this too. It's up to you. Okay? Because this person is moved on. The energy in this room in this reading. Now, some of some people, they still in that in, in that frame of mind where they, yeah, they want you back. But I'm speaking for the, the for the people who are done they have moved on that's why this car showed up because you can't if you still stuck in this energy with this person this won't come in so you have moved on and this person is coming in this person is ready this person is what ready to give and and um give you the love that you deserve just just keep on doing what you're doing and the angels this is your advice the angels have an advice card for you. There's something better. There is something better than this person. And it's this person. There is something better for you. And you already know that. This is just confirmation. Your angels have spoken. It's 33 right here. 
they have spoken the ascended masters have spoken there is something better and it's and this this person and this person is coming right that's confirmation all right so libra that has been your reading um love is in the air i feel it um it's going to be beautiful it's not it's going to be unstoppable it's going to be go everything is going to go into your favor love is here for you 2022 what you gonna do about it what you gonna do hit the comments and let me know what you gonna do hit the comments if you want to send it send the emojis you know i love the emojis all right so um thumbs up if you like thumbs down if you didn't just thumbs the video it helps the channel all right so um subscribe share 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 put it on your website put it on instagram share with your family and friends don't let it sit right so everybody can get these messages okay um what else we got oh if you're here for the first time, description box. All of my information is there. Social media is there as well. If you've joined the social media, just don't join the social media. Go and look at the content. It doesn't matter when I put the content out because most of the time when I put that content out, it was ahead of time. So whenever you click on it, it is your message for that time. I don't care if I say on the day of such and such, it doesn't matter. You read the message. Spirit has messages in my in my social media. You need to go look for them. That message is your message, and you need to receive them and get it into your mind. Get the word transformed in your spirit, all right? Okay, so with that being said, I'm sending you love. I'm sending healing your way, and Trinity is...